Hello, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Diagrams Tutorial Series, you are going to learn how to create product life cycle in PowerPoint. The product life cycle diagram you are going to learn today looks like this one. So you have a normal curve divided into five segments to represent innovators, early adopters, early majority, late majority and laggards. And this diagram, and you can of course animate to show each of these individual pieces because each of these pieces is, uh, sorry, I think it's all grouped here, so I'll just ungroup it. Each of this is an individual piece. So that allows you a whole lot of flexibility to animate these individual pieces, highlight these pieces in a different color. You can apply 3D variation to this shape. You can do a whole lot of things with this product lifecycle diagram which is created by dividing a normal curve into its individual pieces. Let me show you how to do this. We are going to start with a normal curve. If you, if you don't know how to create this normal curve, you can always refer to our earlier tutorial on how to create a perfectly symmetrical normal curve very easily. So we are going to start from where we left in the previous uh, video. Now we are going to divide this into five segments or rather six segments because if you really observe here the laggards uh, segment here actually is comprised of two segments but they have been merged together. So let us uh, click on this one, let us uh, give it a shape fill and we are going to remove the outline so that we don't really uh, get fooled by the dimension because of that extra lines uh, width. The next step is to go to grid and guides and activate the grid lines. Now that we have the grid lines ready, you can observe that we have created this normal curve with 6 by 2 dimension that is 6 cells wide and 2 cells height is how this uh, normal curve is created and that is what you would have learnt in your earlier tutorial. Now we are going to use rectangular blocks to divide this shape into six pieces. So let me go to Auto Shapes menu, go to Rectangle and I am going to draw a fairly big rectangle that covers one cell dimension. So I am just going beyond the height of this shape because we are going to use this more as a way to cut the normal curve. So I am not really bothered about the height of the rectangle as much as it is about the width of the rectangle that I am concerned about. I am going to remove the shape outline and to make sure that we have everything worked out perfectly, I am going to take a much closer look and make some small adjustments to make sure that you know the dimensions are perfectly in order. Yeah, It looks fine. Now this is one of the pieces, I am going to make five more duplicates of this one by clicking on the shape and pressing Ctrl D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that is how I am going to do it. And let me go to the normal uh, view and let me go here and the last piece I am going to keep here. And I am going to arrange all these pieces by distributing them horizontally. So I am going to select all of this using my cursor as a lasso and while holding the shift I am going to click on this curve so that it is deselected. Now that these rectangles are selected, I am going to go to arrange, align and distribute horizontally so that distributes everything horizontally. Now I am going to arrange, align and align top. So this is how it is divided. Let me see uh, if I have to send it back, how this works out. Yeah, this looks perfectly fine. Sometimes it always helps to have these boxes touch each other. If you don't really want it that way, it is perfectly fine. So I am going to make sure that it is slightly bigger so it, it touches so I go to format and in terms of uh, the dimensions of these 
is what you, you can see here. Each of these is 4.04 .04 and width is 0.97. If I were to increase this to say 0.99, will it be big enough? Maybe or 1 should be good enough. Yeah, that is 1 because actually each of this is 1 by 1. So we are going to have it as 1. Now let us put it here and let the other ones also have the same one as the dimension and there we are everything is uh, proper just to be sure that they are all aligned perfectly I'm going to repeat the process go to home arrange align align top arrange align distribute horizontally and there it is perfectly in order to differentiate these individual rectangles I'm going to give them a different colors so this one in orange color this one in teal color it doesn't really matter which color it is it is purely for uh, seeing visually each one as uh, distinct maybe this purple color this one could be a light gray color so we have got them all very clearly differentiated now here comes the trick of how to divide this into individual pieces the first thing is I am going to put this normal curve in the clipboard. What I mean by clipboard? Clipboard is the short term memory of the computer where whatever that you copied rests. So I am going to press Ctrl C or I can always right click and go to copy and this has put this shape in the clipboard. You can always see this here. It is there in the clipboard. The first step we are going to select this piece and this piece and we are going to go to format merge shapes and wherever they both intersect I am going to click so that is called as intersect shapes now I have this piece separate as you can see here it is separate good enough now unfortunately that normal curve has vanished but since we have copied it, it is already there in the clipboard. Now when I click on paste, it comes back. Now this time we are going to repeat the same thing. Click on this shape, click on the normal curve, go to format, merge shapes and click on intersect once again. That is how you repeat for the rest of it. Just to make it easy for you to observe, I have done everything, I have imported all these here in the quick access toolbar. So you can uh, see this without spending too much time. So click here, here and wherever it is intersecting. Once again, control V, click here, here and intersect. Control V, this, this, intersect. Control V, this, this, intersect, control V. Now each of these pieces is individual. Now I'm going to click this one and this one and I'm going to merge shapes. You can always see this merge from format, merge shapes and union. You can press union so that these two are merged into a single shape. Now we have each of these representing a segment of the product lifecycle. You can always give a white outline to differentiate them clearly. You can increase the weight so that the diagram looks very clear and distinct. If you want to have a 3D version of it, you can press Ctrl G so that you can group them all together, remove the outline, right click, go to format shape, go to 3D rotation and give it some angle. Maybe this is one of the angles you can see here. So it is uh, given a 3D perspective. You can go to 3D format and increase the depth to say 50 points and you can see here that you have a 3d version of the normal curve i have slightly run uh, i have done this slightly faster about this 3d version because that is not the purpose of this particular tutorial the tutorial is more to show you how to divide a shape into its individual segments taking product life cycle as an example product life cycle is one of the models used in a marketing presentation there are quite a few other uh, interesting models where we have templatized them so that you don't really have to spend so much time in creating these models from scratch and you can find these example templates from our PowerPoint CEO packs the models that I would like to show here are uh, the Sporters five forces model where you have uh, the four uh, influencers 
are shown here and the existing competitors shown here you have another tutorial that tells you how to create Porter's five forces model you can always search our channel to find that particular diagram uh, you also have an option to use SWOT analysis template from PowerPoint CEO packs as you see on click you can have each of these uh, texts appearing and another useful model is pest analysis and here is an example of uh, the pest analysis model and instead of those named models you also have a whole lot of uh, generic models like say a five factor analysis where you have these five factors influencing this uh, single factor and you have associated text that explains whatever the model is as you can see it takes a lot of time to create professional looking models and consulting diagrams or graphics in general for your business presentations if you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such professional looking graphics for yourself you can always take a look at our powerpoint ceo packs volume 1 and 2 the two ceo packs have more than 1600 fully editable charts and graphics for ceos and busy business presenters like you just choose the templates that match your thought replace the sample replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time Creating professional quality business slides has never been easier. Hope you liked our tutorial on creating a product life cycle diagram from a normal curve. If you want to learn more such tutorials, read more articles to improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills, or if you want to watch more videos like the one that you've just seen, you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.